Hi everyone, Destroyer here with some high level attacks. I'm currently on a 23 win streak, so now I'm going to show you some attacks using Erasmus as well as Siku. Now this first base, I believe, is a maxed out Stronghold level 15. They don't have Sentinel, so it's just uh, normal hit points on the, on the uh, defenses. So here I'm using Erasmus. It's a donut shaped base. It's hard to keep your troops from walking around in circles. So here I'm dropping my uh, Viscaria in the south on the Dragon Roost. And as soon as that's destroyed, I will sweep it to the far north to do some damage over the base. And by that time, it should have enough recharge to do a second swoop. So I'm going to sweep over the base now. You'll notice I'm using three squads of soldiers, one Paladin and two Wardens. So it's a lot of melee troops here. So now I'm going to start getting through the walls using my melee troops only. I've saved my Wardens till last because they have a, a tendency of uh, walking around the outside of those walls. There's another swoop coming down now. I have enough for one more swoop. So I'll do two here in a row. Now I'm going to drop, quickly drop in my Wardens to help take down the defenses there. Drop the remaining troops inside, followed by the Refraction spell. So this is where a lot of the damage is going to be reflected back to these defenses. And you'll see a lot of those uh, defenses in the core start dropping like flies. The bulk of my troops are walking around the, the outer layer there. So I have saved up a lot of my mana. I can start dropping more refraction spells on them. But there's nothing much in range, so I am saving that up until they break through the walls. So fortunately, after they get past this watchtower, they start pathing in. So I am ready on the refraction, just as they get near the uh, spell towers. I can't quite get close enough to that fire spell tower, so I've dropped some illusions to distract that. And now I have enough mana to drop the refraction one more time, which quickly takes down the remaining defenses. So max base with uh, Erasmus, it came in pretty handy here. It all depends on the design of the base. So moving on to the next attack now. I'm up against a Sentinel with 25% bonus hit points, which uh, makes it quite difficult. Now with this base, I like to use Siku because she has very good uh, uh, spell tower abilities. So the north here is very easy to get through the walls and I can do that without getting in within range of those spell towers. So I'm dropping all of my troops here at once. They can safely get through these walls and just as they get near the uh, spell towers, I'll drop the Battle Lament, which protects allies from all common debuffs for 10.8 seconds. Mine is quite high level. So just as the Spell Tower triggers, I'll drop that on all of my troops. It's uh, quite important to keep all your troops together for this. So I'm also counting in my head around 10 seconds. So I will drop another spell, just to make sure I don't take any of that uh, freeze damage from those um, Spell Towers on the Conduits. So as you can see, I didn't have any trouble at all getting down those spell towers. So now I just need to worry about the rest of the defenses and I'll use the Aria spell to confuse all the targets in the area for seven seconds. So this is a very effective spell once the spell towers have been taken down. So not much trouble from here on because all the, the uh, defenses are attacking each other. So just hold down my fast forward button. But I can show you the, quickly show you the second spell here, which is Song of the Sea and that deals high amount of damage to a medium area over five seconds. So it is effective on defenses and on walls as well. So that is 10 mana. So once again, 100% attack here using Siku against a uh, village with 25% bonus. Third village here has a 10% Sentinel bonus. So it'll be 10% harder to take down these towers. Now this is a different design again and there's a lot of distractions around the outside, so once again I will switch on over to Erasmus. So, uh, there's some areas here where I can deploy the dragon, where it can't be attacked by defenses. So I will carefully drop it right here on this building. That building has a lot of hit points, so I can build up a lot of recharge on the dragon. So as soon as that has um, taken down that building, I'll sweep across the base as far right as possible. So speed this up here. But there is a watchtower on the other side, so we'll deploy one squad of wardens to uh, make sure my dragon doesn't get damaged. So I'll drop that right now. So that's distracted it from the dragon. Dragon does have almost two recharges, so I can sweep back across the base. 
and I'll do that right now. So this is going to damage a lot of the buildings across the core. The biggest stretch of the dragons are the uh, watchtowers and there aren't that many in the core. So my dragon does last three whole swoops there. Now I've almost got one more charge left and I didn't quite take down that sky watcher inside. That was my objective. So I just have enough to sweep across here, which also triggers off all of the spell towers. So now it's safe for me to quickly deploy all my troops in that gap and drop the refraction spell on the troops. And you'll see all of these defenses in the core drop really fast. So I have a lot of troops here with very little defenses left behind. And I can quickly finish off this stronghold and the remaining defenses. So there's just a few watchtowers around the outside, which would be pretty easy to take down. So I can just hold my fast forward button down here and clean up the rest of the uh, storage. It's once again very effective use of Erasmus. Both Erasmus's third spell as well as Siku's first spell require you to keep the troops close together for the spells to be most effective. So it's quite important that you plan the beginning of your attack to make sure your troops stay together. That's all for now guys. Bye!